Today, I'm going to tell you all about the history of St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is a holiday that is celebrated on March 17th each year. It is the feast day of Ireland's patron saint, Patrick. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in Ireland and all over the world by people of Irish heritage. It has become a celebration of Irish culture as well. St. Patrick was a man who was actually born in Britain in 387, during the time that Britain was occupied by the Roman Empire. His parents named him Patrick. He came from a family of priests. When he was about 16, Patrick was kidnapped by raiders from Ireland. They took him back to Ireland as a slave, where he was forced to tend sheep. Though Patrick came from a Christian family, he found that there were no Christians in his new home. The people in Ireland practiced a different religion. Patrick was lonely, so he decided to pray. He spent a lot of time praying. When Patrick was about 20, he had a dream that he believed came from God. Based on his dream, he escaped from his captors and made it to the sea. There, he found a ship captain who agreed to take him back to Britain. When he arrived back in Britain, he was reunited with his family. He also decided that he wanted to be a priest, so he began to study. Patrick studied for many years. He became a priest and was then made a bishop. He decided to return to Ireland to tell people there about what he believed. Patrick, now called Patrick, worked in Ireland for 40 years, telling people about God. Some say that he converted all of Ireland to Christianity. It is said that by converting the Irish to Christianity, he drove the snakes from the island. One of the important symbols of St. Patrick's Day is the shamrock, or three-leaf clover. Patrick used the shamrock to help people understand God. Patrick died on March 17, 461, after spending many years helping people and sharing his beliefs all over Ireland. He died in the same place he had built his first church. Today, St. Patrick's Day is as much a celebration of Irish culture as a celebration of Patrick himself. People of Irish heritage all over the world wear green clothes and shamrocks on March 17th. Many people also eat a traditional Irish meal of corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, and soda bread. In Ireland, most people go to church in the morning. In the United States, there are many people with Irish heritage. Their ancestors moved to the U.S. during the Irish potato famine, so there are many special celebrations of St. Patrick's Day in the United States. Each year during St. Patty's Day, the city of Chicago even dyes the Chicago River green. The fountain on the lawn of the White House gets dyed green, too. Many cities in the United States also have parades. Did you know that the first St. Patrick's Day parade ever took place in New York City in 1762? Other symbols of Irish culture have also become associated with St. Patty's Day, like the leprechaun. A leprechaun is a magical person from Irish folk tales. It is said that if you can catch a leprechaun, he has to give you his pot of gold. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you've enjoyed learning more about this fun and exciting holiday.